I mean, we made it. We're at IKEA. So we've got our Nando's. The best. The best packaging. This is so nice. everyone it's georgia and welcome back to my channel welcome back for another vlog you all seem to really like the last vlog so i felt like am i becoming a bit of a vlogger now who knows probably not i've hardly done any vlogs but i just thought i want to incorporate them more into my channel just because i feel like you get to know me a bit more it's more chill like just everyday life so yeah welcome back to another vlog hope you enjoyed today we have a lot on the cards on the cards that even thing we're basically going to ikea so excited i've got to pick up right. i'm actually sick of this woman on the sat nav like she keeps interrupting me so we're going to ikea in today's vlog i need to pick up a mirror i'm also going around to my friends later so that'll be really fun i don't really know what else i'm gonna do probably just ikea and go to my friends really that's really as exciting as the days are getting now but hope you enjoy hope you enjoy another vlog let me know if you do enjoy these because i really really love filming them also if you are new here i'd love if you would stick around and subscribe and let's just get on with the vlog I'm literally so excited we're in the queue for Ikea currently. I haven't been to Ikea since, like, way before lockdown even. Like, I haven't been to Ikea in so long. It's one of my favourite shops. My mum is here. Hi. Are you excited for Ikea? Yeah, I mean, it's really busy. It's a lot so busier busy. than ever. Lot. Yeah, I mean, I'm seeing a pizza hut, but that's just beside the point. Anyway, so we're about to go into Ikea. I'll show you what's new in. I'm actually going to pick up a mirror. I've been needing a mirror. I'm really sorry to everyone, I've been annoying on Instagram, all my friends on Instagram, I'm literally like, what mirror do you have? How tall is your mirror? But I've been in need of a mirror for literally so long and I only have like a little round one. Leave the so, round at the third exit. Rude. I'm gonna go get a mirror. I have checked the stock and it does say they've got it in, so that is the main aim, but I've been watching Ikea vlogs and I've been seeing this woman. So I mean, we'll see what's new in. I'll take you around with me. I'm gonna be wearing my mask, so I'm worried you won't be able to hear me, but I mean, hopefully it'll be fine. This is the state of the queue. This must be how long it gets, because there's literally cones out all the way out to here, and it is pretty long. I feel like it's like five rows long, but I mean, we made it. We're at Ikea. Here we are, we're finally in. It's not actually that busy once you're in here because they don't let like many people in. I literally love this so much. How cute is that little light? It's new, I've never seen that before to be fair. I've just spotted they've got these really cute round mirrors. I know these are like a big thing on Insta at the minute and they're only 20 pounds. This is what they're called in case you want to know. I can never pronounce the Ikea name. I'm getting so embarrassed to vlog because there's people just everywhere. Like honestly, this is the only room that there's no one in. So I've just came in here really quickly. Just wardrobe and storage goals. How cute. Imagine having all this. Oh my gosh. You can see my outfit now a bit better. Just this little two piece from A Poly. I also love the glass chair. Like that's so nice. This is my favourite room so far. Love it. Wish this was my room. How cute is that? I literally love how that looks. Like, imagine that just being in your house. So cute. I also love these little mirrors. I feel like these would be really cute for Instagrammable purposes. One of the mirrors we're considering. I think this is the one that Chinsia has, which is £90. And it is, like, huge. So this is the one we're going to get. Give you a little close in. It's like the Nissadel. It's £45. And it's in white, so it's this one. I'm so excited. So it's that one. I think that is big enough. Like, it definitely, you can still get a lot of big pictures, can't you? Just in the food section, we've secured the mirror. So, so happy about that. I'll show you it properly when I get home. But we're just looking around. These biscuits look really nice. Not that they actually are, but I'm going to get some. So they've got the IKEA cinnamon buns that you can literally just bake. I think we're going to get some of those. They look so nice. I think we've got it in the car, I think. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to see if the food closes. It's in. Oh my god, can't believe we've got it in. Okay, you're on the tripod. You're on, I'm going to give you a mini food haul. So I got these little biscuits, which are just like, I don't even know how to pronounce any of the IKEA names. I'm not even going to try it. They're just like chocolate filled biscuits. They look really good. And then also got this, which I thought would be really nice in like gins. It's a Liganberry drink concentrate, which I just thought would make the gins like fruity. Then I just got some chocolate because I thought it would be nice. Just some plain milk chocolate. Wow. So I got a little pink lemonade because I'm so thirsty, literally need to open this i think that's everything oh no also got some of the ikea cinnamon rolls because these are literally so good if anybody's ever had them the hot dogs and the cinnamon rolls are just the best i remember before i started uni everybody was like raving about the cinnamon rolls and the um and the hot dogs and stuff because like nottingham was arranging like a little ikea trip but none of us even ended up going on any of those things but 
yeah so i'm gonna go get a mcdonald's now or like something for lunch i wish i wraps because i'm already missing the wrap oh my god that's so nice was yours nice yeah lovely mum got cloudy apple of this and i just got pink lemonade because it's literally so nice yeah hopefully you enjoyed the little ikea clips sorry if they're a bit all over the place but honestly when i say it was busy like it was busy how cute the little biscuit is i'm gonna give it a taste test oh it's actually chocolate on the bottom look chocolate biscuit on the bottom normal biscuit on the top and then chocolate inside so looks promising that is so good wow it also had jam ones as well got the goods it's annoying because they didn't put any caramel sauce on it but i mean we'll let it slide that is the best bit of a caramel frappuccino though but oh well and then we've also got ginger biscuits i love this drink so much so i've came to sophie's we're having a wuggers i'm so excited i haven't had a wug mama since uni it looks so long we've got pad thai we've got chili squid we've got it all okay we'll have a pink gin and we've got these like wheat straws that we've had the paper straws we've got our gins mm -hmm. Goyosas, prawn goyosas, chicken pad thai, crispy squid. Mm, that's really oh, so nice. So excited. Oh, yeah, this looks so nice. Wow. Okay, so it's now actually the next day of when we went to Ikea and I've got my new mirror. I'm literally so, so excited about it. Literally, I've been trying to get outfit pics in a mirror that's like this big so now we've got a big one shout out to tj twins anybody who doesn't follow their youtube you really need to because it's so so good um and they both have this mirror and they were recommending it to me so yeah love it so happy with it but i wanted to come on here and show you a little parcel i got um, i've actually had like a bit of an issue with house of cb because i ordered this with my friends got me like a house of cb voucher for my birthday so i ordered this back in april and then like it had a hole in it so i sent it back and then it actually arrived about a month ago but i just haven't got around to showing it in a video so i wanted to quickly show you the packaging this is so nice it comes in these big boxes i think i'm going to keep this box and try and like do something with it i don't know but it's this cardigan and my friend ellie has this and i just love it so much it's like a fluffy cardigan and my friends hannah and sophie got me this with like a voucher for my birthday so thank you so much to them but it's like a long cardigan and it's just so comfy you've probably seen it all over instagram i feel like everybody has it but it's just so nice and like fluffy it has huge pockets in it oh i got it in a size small but i thought just for like wearing around the house with joggers because i'm also not really like a huge fan of just wearing my dressing gown on day to day because i feel like it makes me feel really sluggish so yeah i just wanted to show you this i'll stand up so you can kind of see it a bit better it's kind of just like that kind of vibe and then it just goes, let me stand on here, it just goes like all the way down. So yeah, I absolutely love this. I'm so, so happy about it. It's just going to be so cosy and just warm. And also we're going to Devon next week. So make sure you keep a look out for the Devon vlog. It's also my mum's birthday. So I'm going to be vlogging that as well. Just basically a load of vlogs coming your way, to be honest. And hauls, of course. We can't forget hauls. Show you it. Hope you like it. It's quite a bougie one for me. House of CB purchase. Okay, so the plan is now to go and get our first Nando's since lockdown. Like, is anybody else just ready for this? Like, I am so, so, so excited. I think I'm going to get changed and put, like, a hoodie on and some jeans. And we're going to go to Leamington. I'm going to get a Nando's. I'm just feeling a wrap. I just can't wait. So I'll see you when we get there, probably with my Nando's in hand. If anybody else has been to Nando's, just you'll understand the excitement. But I just love a Nando's. Like, Nando's is my all-time favourite favorite thing so yeah that is my favorite thing so we've got our nando's oh my god i'm literally so excited what's this nice that's our knives and forks we've got oh no mum's got chips and a wrap i've got wrap and a mash i also got i got my wrap passion fruit and mango because that's really really good and i also got halloumi cheese i've never gotten a wrap before so so excited literally can't wait to eat this the first one since lockdown the first nando's chip How is it? Oh, the best. The best ever. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Sandwich. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I can't wait to try this. I'll let you know how this is because this is like a new one for me. I have never had it with halloumi in and the new passion fruit. So I'm so excited. Mm, Sorry, but if anybody hasn't tried the Nando's mash, like where have you been all your life? Because it's the best thing ever. Like genuinely my favorite food in the whole world. So, oh my god, I'm literally in my element right now, literally. 
oh we got this from m s the peach on the beach and i'm so excited this looks like a sex on the beach so it looks really really nice and we've got two little glasses you can see me in here can you not really but yeah so i'm probably gonna be trying to do one of these in every vlog now because i tried one in the last vlog and it's now featured in the next one so I'm just in the car on my way to Devon editing this vlog back and I realised I haven't actually ended it so I really really hope you enjoyed it, it was so nice to have the first Nando's going to Ikea and I finally got my mirror which basically was the highlight of the weekend and obviously going to Sophie's as well it was really really fun. We're now on the way to Devon so I just realised I hadn't actually ended it but we do have Devon vlogs coming very soon so definitely stick around and subscribe if you don't want to miss all of those kind of the only holidays actually happening this summer so that should be really fun so if you did enjoy it be sure to give it a big thumbs up and i would love if you would stick around and subscribe because we have so much fun videos coming very soon and i'll see you in the next one bye